I love my art. It lifts me, you know. It makes me happy. It makes me feel like I'm accomplishing my goals. See, when I first started doing art, I didn't think I could do anything. I had a lot of people telling me I could do it, and I didn't have any faith in myself. But now, I have a lot of faith in myself. I like to uh, send my stuff around the world to help somebody. You know, there's, there's kids out there that can't do what I do, and they can't sew, they can't paint, and they can't draw. And I watch, I watch a lot of kids' shows, and it touches me. And when I do my art, I think about them kids. I think about them kids across the sea, here in America, that can't draw, can't spell, can't uh, do a lot of stuff. So I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that I can do what I can do. I used to be scared of stuff, but I had a buddy that broke me out of that. So I'm not scared anymore of stuff. Outside of scary pictures on TV, I'm scared of that. I change the channel all the time because now I get into cartoons because I'm a grandma and I like to be, I want my grandkids to be proud of me and I want my providers and I want the studio and everybody to be proud of me because I want them to know I not only do this for me, but I want to show them I appreciate I appreciate Nick, I appreciate Ed. Sometimes I have to ask for ideas because I, I get stuck, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm doing my turtles now and I'm stuck. I started out sewing and then the sewing didn't go right. So then I did the ribbon thing with the turtles. See, this is the this the bottom, this the bottom, and then I got I got the heads uh, put up till I get the other part, you know, the legs and the thing I was telling you about the turtle. Before I started, I had to cut. I had to cut these pieces before I could sew them together because the material was real thick. And when I make the shell part. Me and Heather, she did the paste thing and then we glued the, uh, all these different pieces. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. I had to start from the bottom to work my way up because I didn't have any confidence in myself. People had confidence in me, but I didn't have any. They kept telling me I could do it and I kept telling them, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. But now, since I've been doing it, I've been hyped up. Because <laughs> I can't sleep at night because I'm thinking about all kind of ideas. <laughs> you know what to do next. When they had the COVID thing, I was going nuts. I was walking back and forth in my house going crazy. And I was fussing with my providers because I couldn't come. I was real me. My provider would tell you I was real me. I cussed. I don't usually cuss, but when I get angry, <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> and that was because you couldn't do your artwork? Yeah, I was angry for them days that we couldn't come. Uh, I wouldn't talk, I didn't eat. I turned on the TV and I went through uh, I even watched some scary pictures because I was so angry, you know, because I couldn't, I couldn't come to the art studio because this makes me happy, you know, knowing that you can come to a place where you can be yourself, you know, at the art studio. Knowing you're accomplishing your goals and you're making other people happy and making you feel good inside. When you do your art, 
There's something inside of you that's telling you, I can do it. <laughs>